how to overcome the fear of failure. Well, the first thing is to know this. If you failed, you've become valuable. So why fear that? Now, I know that's a difficult concept for most people to think of, but if you look at any truly successful person, big um, entrepreneurs, or any of those people who've created big businesses, they will tell you, if you failed a lot, then you have value. You have wisdom, you have knowledge, because you've gained all of that because of those failures. And so there was one guy, he said, um, I love this, this idea, he says, you know, you're worried about your IQ, but you should worry about your FQ. I just love that so much. See, that's your failure quotient. See, because it's the many times you fail, you always end up getting to the right place. It's just leading you to the right place. And then what happens is if you have failed, you will go through this mental thing if you think that's what's gone on. And so you have to allow yourself to digest that and then start to change it because it didn't happen. The failure was just something that was leading you. It was just an experience that was leading you to the right place that you were meant to be in your life. And so if you have a fear of failure, you won't do anything. You won't start. And this happens to so many. So when you understand, because everything is about mindset, when we can shift your mindset, you're going to start going out and doing the things that are going to cause you to be really successful. And the first one is to understand that the title, the label of failure is not a bad thing. You'll find many, many, as I said, really successful people who say, yes, please fail, and fail often, fail fast, because then you get to where you're supposed to be. It's always there. And the, what happens is we, um, we don't stay with something. We, do, we have to develop this resilience. We have to develop this will to keep going, because there is a perfect place for you in your life where you're never going to feel like you're a failure. But you have to first deal with the fear of it. And, and, and I get this because I did this for so long. I was afraid. I've had other experiences that did not go well. And so then I developed this fear of attempting to do it again, except, and, and that would hold me back for a while, and then I would go and do it. And then you discover, oh, wait a minute, this time it's better. You see, because I've learned so much from the first time. So the, f the failure helped me because now I've gained more knowledge. I have more information. I have more skill at whatever it is. And then you go and you build this up. This is called building your, your sense of self-empowerment because your life is about self-actualization, meaning that you're going to develop the skill to get up and get over anything that happens in your life to create a life that you want to live that's successful, prosperous, and happy. That's all that goes on. And so if you allow your fears to hold you back, you will stay where you've always been. Everything that you want is on the other side of fear. Everything. And you have to be willing to take those steps.